Okay. Now it looks like we're back. We'll see if we can keep the live stream running this morning. Um, so sweet tea is not the kind of tea you need. The tea I'm talking about is time, energy, and attention. Focus is the application of effort to create an outcome. All right. Remember that from yesterday. Focus is the application of effort to achieve an outcome. Effort is just time, energy, and attention. All of this, by the way, I forgot to mention, and uh, shame on me, uh, the note-taking guide is available. And see, shame on me, I don't have a link handy here. I'll find it uh, while I'm trying to talk. We'll see how that works out. So there is a note-taking guide this week so that you can... Oh, there it is right there. So you can uh, have a good place to keep all your notes. This is our topic of the week. That wouldn't be cop uh, topic du jour. That's topic of the day. All right, there we go. There's a link in uh, in the notes down there. Good morning to you, Vicky. All right, so if focus is just the application of effort to achieve an outcome, why do we need tea? Well, to understand focus, because we've been told a lot in our lives, maybe, or maybe it's just me, you need to focus. But nobody ever tells us how. Well, that's what we're talking about this week, and we're starting off, and that's, you know, managing time, energy, and attention. We're going to start off today with time, and this is a different way to look at time. Not, uh, kind of not the topic that I usually get on. The horse I usually get on with time is don't let other people control your time. Right. Say no if it's not getting you to your outcome. I want to give you a very specific tactic to use today. And even in the title, again, hinted at it in the title a little bit today. There are um, innumerable apps for uh, your phone, for your phone, for your desktop. I've got one that runs on my desktop right here that help you use a method to manage your use of time. Uh, I'm, I'm really careful with that. We can't manage time. Time moves at a fixed interval, at least in this dimension of the universe. It moves at a fixed interval that we can't change. So we can't manage time. We can't say, time, you're late. Why aren't you, why weren't you here? No, I mean, all we can do is manage our use of time. So this is a tool, a, a set of tools that implements a method that might help. So one of the things that we have to understand is that anything is possible. Anything, everything is possible if you break it up into small bite-sized pieces. If you have 200 phone calls you need to make today, God, that's a lot. I can't make 200 phone calls today. Well, can you make 10 phone calls this hour? I mean, let's say 20 phone calls this hour. Can you make 20 phone calls? I don't know. That seems like a lot. Can you make 10 phone calls in 30 minutes? Oh, yeah, I can probably do that. Okay, great. So, see, we, if you make 10 phone calls every 30 minutes for 10 hours, you'll make 200 phone calls a day. The point is everything is possible if you break it up into small enough chunks. We tend to look at things as too big to attack, and so we don't. So this tool and this method I want to talk to you about or, or turn you on to today is called the Pomodoro Method. P-O-M-O-D-O-R-O. Let me put that. I'll put that down in the notes. P-O-M-O-D-O-R-O. Just Google that up on your on uh, your phone in your app store online. You'll find all kinds of tools. And for some reason, and I should know this, but I don't. <coughs> they all. Have something to do with tomatoes. Hey, Gail, good morning. They'll have something to do with tomatoes. So the one I use on my phone is called Flat Tomato. But the the gist of it is this, right? Work for 20 minutes or 25. A lot of people will do 25. It's kind of up to you. I like 20 because... Um, that's kind of our unit of attention, right? We can do anything for 20 minutes, right? So you take a topic, you work on it for 20 minutes, and then you take a break. Now, um, the the key to making this work, yeah, tomato tomato timers. Okay, bro, I'll go with that. 
Um, oh, like the tomato timer, like you twist that sits in the kitchen. That might be, that might be a good reason why. Um, now here's the key to making this work. You can't do anything else, right? So if I'm going to focus, let's say I'm going to make phone calls or if I'm going to, um, let's find a better one. I'm going to, I'm going to focus on crafting this email to send out to my list. We'll just, we'll use that. A sales email, a, a reply to a complaint, something that, that requires a little bit of attention. Okay. Or, or I'm going to work on this chapter of my book or whatever it is for you. Okay. During that 20 minutes, you can't do anything else. If the phone rings, let it go to voicemail. If Facebook dings on your phone, don't look. If another email comes in, don't read it. For this 20 minute block, you are working on this task. That's it. Now, when the timer goes off, and this is where all the apps become really helpful, you know, you can, and some of them will integrate with your to-do list and let you know, it can become really fancy. Just, I, I mean, you don't even have to have the app. Everybody's phone has a timer on it. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Now, the cool thing about doing 25 minutes, you can work 25 minutes, take a five minute break, work 25 minutes, take a five minute break, and there's your hour. I like 20 minutes because that's kind of where my attention span goes, right? But I'll uh, work for 20, take 10 minutes to answer email, answer messages, get up and walk around for a minute, come back, work another 20, answer messages, answer email, make phone calls, work another 20, right? So I can, that, that's kind of the pattern that I use. The key here is to find the pattern that works for you. Right. Maybe if your unit of focus is about 15 minutes, a lot of studies say it's, it's right around that 18 minutes really is, is where it falls. Uh, in fact, one of my, um, my great pitch mentors, the guy that I turn to when I'm, I'm working on presentations and pitches says 20 minutes. That, uh, and he uses the example. That, uh, the guys that got, that won the Nobel Prize for, uh, understanding DNA, discovering, understanding, explaining DNA made their entire DNA presentation in less than 20 minutes. So nothing that you have to explain is more complicated than that. So whatever that unit of time is, find that. So, and this, I want you to try it today. And then, uh, let me know tomorrow when we come back and get back together tomorrow. How did this work out for you? Was it something that helped? Was it something that was, uh, kind of painful? Was it really, really painful to know, even distracting maybe that there's a message waiting for you on your phone, but I gotta write this email and I can't look at it. I mean, that's really the key here, right? Is, is the the tools are just tools. A hammer can't build a house. You have to use it to drive the nails, right? These apps, this method is just a tool. You have to have the discipline to actually get the work done. But if you can do it, then first of all, right, if you're using the P plus 4F method, you'll get your priority and four focus areas knocked out a lot of times before lunch. Right? And if you're doing that every day, holy crap, you're really making some progress. All it requires is a little bit of, that's right, focus. All right, that's it for today. Today is Tuesday. The radio show is coming up, I believe. I will have a special guest joining me in the studio, so be sure and tune in for that. Talk radio for entrepreneurs.com gets you the right place where you can watch and listen to that show online. If you happen to be in your car, you're driving around, you can listen to it. And here in the Huntsville area, you can listen to it over the air. WTKI, 1450 AM and 1053 FM. And the doorbell's ringing back there, so we'll have to go see about that. I'll be back here again tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you guys, have a great day.